such a pretty smell. Hello, I'm back with, I just got a mouthful of ear, I'm so sorry. I don't know if to move my camera position, I don't know if this is doing it for you all. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Hmm? Let me move you guys over here. Does that seem like an okay camera angle? I don't know, he's not impressed. Um, I feel like this is okay. Sorry, we have really, really ugly radiators in our flat. Nothing we can do about it. So please enjoy the unsightly sight. Um, but this will do. This is Freddy. Oh, I'm sorry. He's like, I don't care. What? Hello. Please don't hate me. You love me really, man. You love me really, right? Hmm? Today, I probably should dim down the cheeriness because this isn't a cheery video. It's an educational video. So I guess I can be a little bit more enthusiastic in a way. Anyway, so this is on snail euthanasia or morally disposing of your pet snail um, after death and causing the death. That sounds terrible. I don't mean it like that. I am actually really upset about this, even if I don't appear upset. Um, actually, let me tell you now, let me, oh, sorry, this is already a chaotic video. Can I just do one video where there isn't any chaos? Uh, no, probably not. Galukig died. It's sad, it's really sad. He passed away through a, how do I say this? An unsuccessful mating experience with Masago. So for those of you that don't know, Galukig is my one-eyed Achitna Immaculata pink lit snail, or at least he was, he's not alive anymore um and masago is an albino fulica masago has grown drastically within the space of a few months and she has massively overtaken galukig in size and i think that is why he died i can't tell you exactly if that's why as i'm no snail expert but they were mating beforehand absolutely fine. I've never had any problems with anything of the sort. And when I went to go and feed the snails the other night, Blue Kig had his sexual organ hanging out and he had inflated almost as if he'd absorbed a massive amount of liquid and was this squidgy, smelly, dead mess with his sexual organ out so that's why i am putting it down to that he shares an enclosure with masago as i said they've always been okay together but something clearly went wrong when they were getting it on which really upsets me and makes me angry even though it's not masago's fault i'm still very angry with her because glue kick was one of my favorites not that i can have favorites because they're my pets anyway i'm gonna get i'm gonna go get the killer and you can meet her and we'll talk through snail euthanasia and if you have a sick snail at home that you believe can't be healed or you've tried to heal it in different ways with green tea baths etc and you kind of want to just dispose of your sick snail i'm gonna tell you how so let me go get masago i'll be back and you can listen to some more lecturing so this is masago i think oh one eye in <laughs> she does have two eyes unlike the victim that she killed um yeah she's very very big very very large i just want you to take a closer look at this beast so i do i don't know how to position her <laughs> just hold her awkwardly like this the whole time um i might just move you slightly <laughs> so I do actually still have glue kick. He's wrapped in a bag with a few air holes and some wood lice 
and he's hanging out my bedroom window. Let me explain. It's not as cruel as it sounds. First of all, he's dead, so. I have put wood louse in the bag with him to decompose the flesh inside of the snail shell. The wood louse enjoy it. It's not cruel to the wood louse. It's like them eating some decomposed lettuce or anything of the sort. It will basically just help speed up the process. If you don't have wood louse, you can still keep the shell of your snail. It's just going to take a while, but I really, really do recommend that if you are wanting to keep the snail shell, please put the shell outside in some way. If you're in a flat like me that doesn't have a garden anymore, then hang it outside your window. Just do something. Don't keep the snail in the house unless you're used to that and you don't mind the smell and the potential bacteria because when the snail does die, it doesn't smell great. I'm just going to be honest. It does smell of rotten flesh. Um, you want to just have a close-up of the eyes. I'll hold her here like this for a bit <laughs> whilst her eyes just sprout out like a big bean. We might be here for a while, so I'll carry on talking. Uh, so let's get on to euthanasia. I feel like I should use that term lightly because can you really euthanise a snail? Let's be honest. Let's use the words morally killing, which you don't hear very often, but we're going to go for those words. So if your snail is sick, we're not going to go into those details too much because I feel like as a snail owner, you know when the right time is if you do need to dispose of your snail. This sounds cruel. It's not as cruel as you think. Lay down some beer in a shallow dish. Don't drown the snail in the beer. Just place the snail in the beer. The yeasty smell produces this almost sweet delicious smell and taste for the snails so they won't bubble they won't suffer they won't hiss they won't hide into their shell they will simply either sit there and have a nice beer bath or they will kind of drink it up and get really really drunk um yeah the snail's basically going out for a party it's a bit of an interesting thing to watch I also really want to make it clear that this is last resort. Don't just go kill your snail because you've had enough of the snail. You don't know what to do with it. You want to get rid of it because you can't find it in your home. No. No, 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 no. This is a last resort. You only kill your... Ugh, I feel so uncomfortable. Un See, I'm so uncomfortable. I feel so uncomfortable using the word kill, but... Please don't kill your snail unless you really, really have to. If it's got deep shell retraction syndrome or you're using this method to help speed up the process of it already dying. What was I saying? Uh, depending on the size of your snail and the condition that it's in, different snails will take a different amount of time to basically soak up the alcohol and go into a big deep sleep. It isn't cruel, it won't hurt them. I've had to do this with babies in the past if you need to cull um, accidental babies once, once they've hatched. This is also, you know, a fair or the most fairest way to do it. I'm also now going to insert a video of Galookig. I'm gonna put in a trigger warning because I feel as if it can be a little bit grotesque, especially those that don't like a bit of gore. He does have this look, decrepit looking dry shell. Um, he's gone into his shell a little. He's got his sexual organ hanging out. It's not as bad as I'm explaining, but I've also, there's also wood louse crawling around him in the bag. So trigger warning It's going in three, two, one. <laughs> So yeah, that's what he looks like and he is currently outside hanging hanging out my window. I'm keeping the shell, not necessarily as a trophy, but he was a good member of the family and I'd like to keep him in the family and I think keeping his shell is just a really nice way to do that. It's like keeping the ashes of a pet in my opinion. I also think it's important for me to say that the process of the flesh breaking down within the shell, it's going to take a little bit of time depending on 
how you've dealt with it. I would say regardless of how you deal with it, make sure you do sterilise the shell afterwards. Make sure there's nothing left inside the shell when you think the time is ready. And maybe even place a shell in boiling hot water uh, if you feel comfortable doing that in a, in a pan or and just cook it cook it all cook the shell it will just sterilize the shell it won't break down the hot water will be fine i've done this before and it will just make sure that you do have a nice clean and proper hello so to summarize if you if you do need to euthanize your snail beer is the option do not use a different type of alcohol um you might be able to but i personally haven't been told that you can do this, especially spirits. Stay away, that will hurt your snail. They will bubble, they will suffer. Uh, it's the yeast in the beer that makes it so sweet and decadent for the snail. So just stick to that. If you do have any more advice and you are an experienced snail owner and have had to deal with this before, feel free to drop a comment for all of the viewers. And it's great to just, this is a great platform to for me and you guys to just share any knowledge that you have on snails as there's not enough information out there in my opinion but obviously that's because they are an exotic pet they aren't accessible in all countries so i feel like any advice or experience that we can provide is positive i'm gonna leave this video here i just want to say thank you so much for watching if i have missed anything out i might cover it in another video or feel free to comment down below a question i might know the answer to and if i don't know the answer someone else feel free to comment the answer if you do know the answer i've found that some of you can be super helpful within these videos and sometimes i'll even trip up and i'll make a mistake and some of you will comment down below actually Svanna, this is wrong this is what is right <laughs> so we're all helping it each other out you are very active aren't you you're very active and as usual stay safe i hope there's less video cuts in this video i really really hope so i'm really trying to work on that bye guys